Huh. This sure seems very different from what Paimon imagined. Shouldn't Ermine Soul be in this realm of consciousness? Yes, that is our destination. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukudavata to be as polluted as this. Forbidden knowledge? <sighs> it seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Hmm, your inference seems logical enough. Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshret's self-sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadevata nearly exhausting her power. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 years ago. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Soul itself already in danger. So, if we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then does that mean, in order to save us, Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermensoul. <laughs> Aww. Do you feel sad, Nahida? I'm just... Uh, sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions, all the way up to her last breath? She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. Yes, her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Ruka Devata tell us the truth in person. Each of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Even with the Gnosis' protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Otherwise, we could go mad at any moment. <sighs> That's so scary! Don't worry, it should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go!